Hello, my name is Ben Deal, and I am an entomologist at Washington State University. Welcome to this video summarizing the results of our research into identifying thrips on peonies as part of the task grant titled Eliminating Pests as a Trade Barrier on Alaska-Grown Peonies. Today, we will briefly discuss thrips biology before focusing on how we addressed one of the main goals of the grant, which was to explore thrips taxonomy in the region and develop identification tools that will be used in future IPM programs. First, let's talk about thrips biology and why they are a threat to peonies grown in Alaska. These tiny insects spend most of their life cycle on a peony plant and can damage many different parts of a peony, including the leaves, developing buds, and flower petals. Eggs are laid in plant tissues by female thrips using an ovipositor with multiple saw-like blades. These damaging ovipositors are present in most pest thrip species found on peonies, except those thrips belonging to the suborder Tubulifera, commonly known as the tube-tailed thrips. These thrips do not possess an ovipositor and can be recognized by the tube-like structure on the tip of the abdomen, as indicated by the red arrow in the photograph below. Immature tube-tailed thrips can be recognized on peonies by their striking red and yellow coloration. In contrast to the immatures of most other thrips encountered on peonies, which are entirely yellow. Larvae can be found developing between bracts, sepals, and petals. Before becoming adults, thrips immatures pass through pre-pupil and pupil stages that generally occur in soil, but may be found in peony buds. Here we can see a close-up photograph of a thrips egg that has been inserted into the petal of a peony bud. As most adult thrips are between one to two millimeters in length, you can imagine just how small these eggs must be. Depending on temperature, eggs may hatch in as few as four days. And if this occurs during the shipping process, newly hatched thrips may spread to previously uninfected peony buds. When scouting for thrips eggs under a dissecting microscope, look for these kidney-shaped objects near the inner basal regions of the petals. Because eggs are inserted into plant tissue, the area around the egg may become discolored and can offer a clue of where to look. Other insects may lay eggs that look similar to those left by thrips, for example, ligus and minute pirate bugs, but thrips eggs lack the distinctive neck seen in the eggs of these true bugs. Here are a few photographs that show early stages of thrips development. Thrips pass through two larval instar stages. First instar larvae are very small when they hatch from their egg and can easily be overlooked. Second instar larvae are larger and most species that are found in peonies have a yellow body. At this stage of their life cycle, most thrips larvae look very similar and it is difficult for even specialists to identify them. Like adults, immature thrips damage peonies through direct feeding with piercing mouth parts. Some thrips can complete their entire life cycle from egg to adult in the peony bud in little over a week or so. Thrips can cause damage to peonies in many ways. Both the acts of laying eggs and feeding require that thrips pierce into plant tissue, thereby triggering several abnormal reactions by the peony itself. Streaking or spotting can be observed around areas where thrips have been feeding, as well as distortion of new plant growth. As feeding and egg laying may subject peony tissue to outside pathogens, necrotic areas may develop due to the presence of these secondary invaders. Heavy feeding damage by thrips before a peony bud opens can result in buds failing to open or in flower drop in the future. Thrips are a unique pest in the sense that they are the only organism that is known to transmit tospoviruses. These tospoviruses include tomato spotted wilt virus, which is reported to infect peonies and is spread by at least three thrip species that were identified from peony samples in this study. Besides directly damaging the plant and indirectly vectoring tospoviruses, thrips themselves can also serve as a contaminant during the export of peony buds to international markets. Many countries have strict phytosanitary regulations that prohibit the import of plant materials containing certain species of thrips or any thrips at all. The task project had four main goals. This video will cover results pertaining to the first, taxonomy and species identification. Let's look a little closer at what exactly this goal hoped to achieve. Here we will focus on morphological studies of thrips known from Alaska grown peonies. This task goal also included exploring identification of thrips using DNA methods, but the results of that research will be presented elsewhere. The objectives for the morphological studies were to create multiple identification keys based on thrip specimens collected from peonies grown in Alaska 
throughout the duration of the project. The use of these research specimens would allow us to better understand which thrip species are likely to be encountered on peonies in Alaska and give phytosanitary inspectors several options for new identification resources. In 2019, over 550 peony buds from three different growing regions were shipped to our laboratory in Washington State to be dissected. From these samples, we collected 226 adult and larval thrips for use in our morphological studies. Using previous records of thrips taken from peonies in Alaska, I constructed a draft dichotomous key based on morphological characters and began the process of slide mounting and identifying the unknown thrip specimens. In the table provided, you can see data from 12 different farms on the number of buds dissected, number of infested buds, percentage of infested buds, average number of thrips per bud, and the highest number of thrips recorded in a single bud. 2020 introduced a number of difficulties into our research plans. However, our team still managed to pick, ship, and dissect over 1,500 peony buds, almost three times as many as in 2019. From these buds, we collected over 1,300 adult and larval thrips, more than five times the number collected in the previous year. The remaining specimens from the 2019 samples were identified and resulted in eight total thrip species being recovered from peony buds. A second type of identification key, a lucid key, was started in 2020 using all of the thrip species previously known from peonies in Alaska. This key has several advantages over traditional dichotomous keys, including the ability of the user to follow a nonlinear path by picking and choosing which morphological characters to observe. How lucid keys are built also makes it much easier to add new species to the key should additional thrips species be discovered from Alaska grown peonies in the future. Last year in 2021, almost 600 thrip specimens from 2020 were slide mounted and identified. Through this process, another three species of thrips were added to the total list of those collected during the task grant. Washington State University scientists also conducted several field visits in the Matsu and Fairbanks regions to meet with growers and collect additional thrips using non-destructive techniques. During one visit, a single specimen belonging to the genus Eolothrips was collected from a peony flower. This was the first time a species from this group had been collected during the task grant. These thrips can easily be recognized by their banded wings and are thought to be facultative predators, preying on the larvae of other thrips, but also feeding on pollen and flowers. The development of the lucid key continued in 2021 with the main research focus shifting to exploring additional morphological characters to add and taking reference photographs from each thrip species. After completing the identifications of the 2020 thrip samples, the total number of species documented from Alaska grown peonies was 11 species in seven different genera. Several of these species were represented by one or two specimens. Male thrips are often uncommonly collected, but male representatives for five of the 11 species were collected during this study. In summary, the outputs for the taxonomy and species identification portion of the task grant are as follows. Two novel identification keys based on morphology were developed for thrip species that were collected during this multi-year study. The first is a traditional dichotomous key, and the second was a lucid key that will be made available online to assist anyone interested to identify thrips taken from peonies grown in the state of Alaska. All photographs included in the keys were taken of thrips collected during the study in our laboratory at Washington State University under a compound microscope. In addition to keys, a reference collection of over 600 slide mounted thrips was curated and will be available for future use in identifications and research. Each specimen was identified and includes a unique code that allows it to be traced back to the specific date and location where it was collected using a complementary data set. Using these specimen data, we can explore thrip species association in different growing regions and even see which species were found on certain peony cultivars. Here we can see a comparison of three different cultivars, each of a different color. In general, you can see that most thrip species were found on many different cultivars and some genera, like Taneothrips, were more commonly encountered than, say, Franklinella overall. These associations are interesting, but it is difficult to make any strong connections given differences in growing regions and an uneven sampling of cultivars. In order to highlight and distribute 
the THRIPS identification research that was completed during the task grant, several outreach videos were created and will be made available online. The first is titled Lab Identification of THRIPS and covers the laboratory methods that were utilized during the project. The second video is titled THRIPS Identification on Peonies. This name should sound familiar because this is the video you're currently watching. This video mainly covers the results of our morphological research, but also briefly covers the THRIPS life cycle and how these insects damage peony plants. Finally, the third video is titled Morphological Character and Lucid Key Walkthrough. This video explains many of the most important morphological structures that are used to identify THRIPS and also includes a video walkthrough showing how to use the Lucid Key. This video will be helpful for any person interested in using the keys generated as part of the task grant to identify thrips collected from peonies grown in Alaska. Thank you for watching.